Hey y'all, I hope your holidays have been well. Mine sure have been. This is a much needed break from school and I've had some time to work on art and YouTube, so you know that's what this video is gonna be. I don't know if it would be considered a studio vlog, but I'm gonna include some art stuff and I'm going to include some vlog stuff, so you know, a little bit of everything. And I went into winter break with a couple goals. One, I want to relax, obviously, finally rest up after an exhausting semester. I made a list of things to do this break, like getting sushi with my friend and taking myself to the spa, but those things cost money. So at the same time, I need to think about, you know, my income. I definitely want to put more time and energy over this break into creating for fun, but also inspire ideas for maybe eventual finished artworks and eventually maybe ideas for print and stickers, and I also want to maybe try and customize some clothes, like a one-of-a-kind type situation. I don't want to sell them unless they're, you know, customized and secondhand, so I've been trying to find some balance with that. I did buy like six packs of, um, I don't want to use the term wife beaters, but you know, that's what I call them, and just white tank tops, white undershirts, and I have extra small and I have medium, so I've been slowly drawing on those with Sharpie, which has been really, really fun, and I've been slowly thrifting clothes that I want to paint or draw on, and maybe wear for myself, maybe sell, we're not really sure yet, but yeah, I also want to put more texture in my sketchbook. Um, more items and mementos, hence the collage and this weird Keanu Reeves Adam Driver section of a magazine. Um, but I want to have more personality and stories packed into my sketchbook. Um, I feel like that would definitely make me feel a little more fulfilled when I finish a sketchbook because it started to feel like a chore and I really don't want it to feel like a chore. I want it to feel like a little diary that I have all my little memories in and little sketches. So. Yeah, um, number three, I want to make more art for friends, especially with Christmas coming up. I'm customizing a tank top for a friend, I'm working on a secret Santa gift, and fourth, I want to finish my sketchbook um, that Etcher sent me over the summer. Not the one that I'm currently working in right at this second, but um, the one that the collage was in that you guys just saw, that Etcher sketchbook. I want to film a sketchbook tour of it before I go out of town for New Year's, and I want to add more texture throughout that book, like I said earlier. Um, it definitely took less time to get through, as you can tell, I got it in like July, and I'm pretty much almost done with it, and it's December, so that's like half a year. And yeah, it was definitely easier to get through because the pages are pretty thick, but at the same time, I wish I had added more texture to make them even thicker and, you know, just... I love a good thick sketchbook filled with stuff, so I'm trying to do more of that before I f call it done and move on to another one. Um, but yeah, thanks again, Etcher, for sending that sketchbook to me. It was really cool. Um, I've never had a sketchbook with canvas as the cover, so that was pretty interesting to get to customize it. and. Yeah, I've been getting back into colored pencils, and believe it or not, slowly converting my pencil slash pen grip to the quote-unquote correct way. Correct meaning that there's now a slightly smaller chance that I'll get arthritis or something. Um, it's kind of changed my drawing process, more specifically my shading technique, but definitely for the better. I've become a little more light-handed with the shading. Um, am I able to get a bit more subtle shading than before, you know? Um, but it, it's like a 50-50 split, like half the time I'll hold my pencils like a little baby and the other half the time I'll consciously be correcting my grip and, you know, trying to make it feel better for myself. Because, yeah, at the end of the day, it does feel better. I just am set in my childhood ways. It's really hard to get out of that habit. But I'm doing it. I didn't think I'd be able to, but I'm actually making some progress. Also, this is a portrait of Rina Sawayama. Also on the Etcher postcards that they sent me with that sketchbook. What an Etcher video. Um, I don't listen to her, but it's a gift for a friend who does listen to her. And it just felt right because her name is also Rina, she's the Leo, I just really resonate with her based off the interviews I've watched of her, so slay. And as you can see, it took me a second to get her face down, I had to draw it multiple times. I was debating whether or not I should draw her body in the picture or just her face, and I actually really liked the way that the light hit her face and the way her makeup was done, so I zoomed in quite a bit. But that meant I really had to try and capture her face, which is something that I find challenging. I still can't really tell if it looks like her or not, but, you know, time will tell. We'll see. I need to just trust the process and take a couple breaks and step back and then 
look at it again and figure out the proportions, you know the drill. <laughs> Y'all just watched me use a spread in my etcher sketchbook to kind of figure out the pattern for this shirt drawing. It's usually pretty intuitive in the first place. I don't put much thought into planning for these, but I did make the slightest nudge at planning this time, so I would have a pretty solid idea of what I'm doing. But yeah, it was pretty simple. I don't know if I want to add anything behind what I just did on the shirt which would turn it into a kind of foreground and background situation, but we'll see. And yeah, I'm just slowly chipping away at all the different things. We're back at the Rina Sawayama drawing. I liked incorporating her makeup into the background and playing with all the different colors with this one. I don't think I ever went for like a brown or any shades of tan. I mostly went for pink, blue, purple, orange, green, etc. Lots of yellow also. And then that night for dinner, I made paneer tikka masala and some rice. I didn't get a good clip of the finished product, but it was so good like I don't know how I even managed to do that I just went out and I bought the ingredients and I made it and I'm so happy I did that but yeah now we're back to the shirt I've been slowly just sitting down for like you know hour-long increments and just working on all this stuff um Gigi will occasionally get on the desk as y'all saw he's trying to help I swear he just wants to be a part of it I've been back in my content consuming era this break, which has helped motivate me to create more. I've been watching a lot more YouTubers regularly, you know, watching more art videos again, and getting back into those really productive sketchbook while watching YouTube sessions. I love when that happens. But yeah, I've also been watching more shows and films again. Within the past few days, I've watched Emily the Criminal, Barbarian, and Hereditary, which I still hadn't seen up until today. It didn't scare me as much as I thought it would. A lot of my film buff friends hyped it up as a really scary film, but maybe I'm just desensitized. Anyway, I still thought it was really good. I really enjoyed all three of the films that I saw. I also recently finished watching Atlanta, the series finale. I thought it was very interesting. Um, Atlanta's been one of my favorite shows recently. I will always watch the new episodes when they come out. It's, it's just crazy to like see the city that I grew up in in this very surrealist but also really real way which is scary because it kind of just confirms that things are changing in a very surrealist way um that was done that was really redundant and i could have worded that better but anyway i've also been watching white lotus i binged both seasons in like a weekend and i'm re-watching high fidelity right now because it just i don't know it felt right i'm not one for re-watching things because i'm always trying to consume something new but something about high fidelity just really resonated with me all the characters were just like yeah, you're, you're real. You're real people. And the soundtrack is so like pretentious music nerd, but it's excused by their exquisite taste. I love it. High Fidelity also loves to humble me by reminding me that all of my thoughts are unoriginal and actually just came from this show's script. Sorry, I've been showing you guys stuff and talking about something completely different in the voiceover. So real quick, this is an ashtray for a Christmas gift that I'm making for someone. It's the Sculpey Oven Baked Clay. I've actually had this for literal years and I just haven't really been using it. Um, but yeah, it's um, something that I want to paint. I'm not sure what I want to paint on it yet. I have a few days to figure that out. And this is a finished drawing that I'm trying to pump out. I started drawing this in my sketchbook months ago and I've been super slowly coloring it in and making the environment around this little guy walking up the stairs. I actually got so into the colors of this piece that I kind of messed up on the stairs and where his feet are stepping on said stairs. So there's some improvisation happening. I mean, there's a lot of improvisation happening in this drawing, but it was more intentional in the location of the stairs. And I've really, really, really been enjoying this drawing because it's a perfect example of how good art takes time and how cool it can be to step away from a drawing for a little while and then see where that long-term aspect takes the composition because I would not have you know made this exact composition a month ago or two months ago whenever I was also working on this drawing so you know it's it's taking my brain at different stages of my life and kind of combining it all into one little spot which I think is really cool
Speaking of taking a break from that piece, I decided to turn away from it for a second and go to a different spread in the sketchbook and work on some more ornamental type of designs. I do tattoos, so I'm also trying to come up with flash whenever I have the inspiration, and lately I've been wanting to do more hand pokes just because I feel slightly more in control than I do with the tattoo machine, and each poke is done one by one, so I just feel a lot more control in terms of needle depth too. I also just really enjoy a good stippled style of tattooing, and I hope to learn more realism and shading with hand pokes in the near future, because I, I'm an artist, I know how to stipple, and I think that, you know, it, it takes a bit of translation to do it in a tattoo, but I think I have a bit of leverage as someone who enjoys stippling on paper, so we'll see how that turns out. I definitely want to practice on myself at some point this break, partly as a reward for getting through the semester, but also, you know, just to get that practice in with the stippling, and I want to try something a little more, um, you know, naturalistic and realistic than I normally would with hand poke. So, you know, we'll see where that goes and I will film it and keep you guys updated if that happens. <laughs> On this page, I'm trying to make more ornamental designs and experiment with those curvy hooked shapes. I really like the texture I was getting with this and I definitely want to keep making more of them and also making some stippled versions of that style is a goal. And here I'm just gluing the rest of the collage things that I cut out um, to cover up a page that I didn't really like. I was just literally scribbling the oil pastels to experiment with them and just get the hang of, you know, how they feel in my hand on the paper. So yeah, I'm completely okay with her being covered up and always down for adding texture to the sketchbook. I need more of that. I might even bust out the acrylic paint and go through the sketchbook to cover everything up that I don't think is... Uh, is worthy the right word? I don't know. Or is it more real and true of me to keep all of my art in here, even if I don't like how it looks? Um, I don't know. I, I think it's better if everything looks awesome and cool and yeah, I mean, either way. Now, as you see on the screen before you, we've gone back to that drawing. We're slowly chipping away at it. I would be 100% content on where this is going if I didn't have those faint pencil lines from the sketch that you probably can't even see, but maybe it just adds character, I don't know, I'm not gonna think about it too much. Dinner break, I'm warming up some risotto that I made earlier in the week and sautéing some mushrooms, and I love mushrooms so I put a lot in there, I laid them out all in the pan one by one, and then after they started sweating I flipped each one over to make sure both sides were evenly golden, also that's what the trinket slash ashtray looks like now that it's been baking in the oven. Um, I'm gifting it to a friend for Christmas and yeah I had to meticulously flip over each one in the pan because I wanted them both to be even so yeah then I added some parm, cheddar cheese, salt pepper, red pepper flakes, and green onions and I feel like most foods are so much better when you just add red pepper flakes and some kind of herbs. Um, right now it's winter so all my herbs are inside and I'm keeping basil, thyme, rosemary, and green onions in our window. Fresh herbs will always be better than not fresh herbs, you know? And after I ate that I was still a little hungry so I took some focaccia that I bought from DeKalb Farmer's Market and I chopped up some red bell peppers, onions, mushrooms, and threw a bunch of cheeses and seasonings on top and I baked it at like 375 for 10 minutes and everything got nice and crispy and melty Yo. and it was so needed. I needed this. It was bussin', party in my mouth, and I made a sriracha mayo dip for it so that was a really good combination. It was basically a pizza but um, with a lot more bread and no sauce which is honestly like my ideal pizza because I kind of hate sauce um, but not in a like I just want cheese on the pizza but I just want cheese and a bunch of vegetables and you know what I feel like this isn't talked about enough I'm a vegetarian well I'm, I'm pescatarian and then you know I break my streak every once in a while so I'll have I'll have white meat like once every half a year it's like that um, but yeah only fish rarely any meat and it angers me how all the frozen pizzas at Kroger and Walmart they're they all have meat on them none of them are purely veggie unless they're super expensive or it's all plant-based and it's not even real cheese and I just want sauce cheese and like broccoli and onions and mushrooms and all the good stuff but no meat and that's so hard to come across. Alright, pizza tangent over, but that focaccio was the best thing that happened to me all week. Um, I didn't like how empty this spread was so I added that acrylic painting on the left and I found a little photo of two people kissing on Pinterest. I butchered it. 
a lot severely and then on the right page I just started adding different layers those blobs of Posca marker and then um, I, I used gouache to bring the first drawing back through again. It was originally a really loose drawing of my friend Ashani just sitting on campus, but yeah, it got kind of morphed into something else. A daydreaming girly pop, perhaps. Now we've arrived back at this shirt. She's basically done just doing some last second finishing touches. I kind of like the front side more than the back side of the shirt, but both look pretty good on their own. I just don't like the combination of them, even though you can't really tell how they're too different, um, you'd really have to focus, you know? Good morning, y'all. As you can see in the background, I'm actually editing this video, so like videoception, and I can't tell if this vlog has gotten too long, but I'm gonna keep recording because I'm actually having fun making a video, and that just hasn't happened in way too long. So today I'm going to do my laundry and then, you know, while I'm doing my laundry, I'm gonna be probably finishing the movie Shirkers that I started on Netflix. And then I'm just gonna slowly work on some art, take a stab at different things. I might start drawing on another tank top because I'm pretty much done with that one I've been working on so far, which is super exciting. For lunch, I made some pasta with pesto. I very heavily salted the water and I decided to saute more mushrooms and cut up the other half of that red pepper that I had left from the night before. So I got to chopping and same drill, I sauteed the mushrooms. I put each little sliver of mushroom on the pan individually and then flipped them over when they started sweating. And then I also started chopping up the red pepper very thinly. I made sure to remove all those seeds and yeah, I, I sliced them real thin and then I cut each of those in half. So I think that was a good shape, right? Th that's, a, that's a pretty good shape. And then I drizzled some olive oil on there and I did not expect them to turn out really good texture wise, but they were really, really yummy and added a nice sweetness to the pasta. So yeah, pasta took about four minutes because it was fresh and yeah, that, that literally boiled for like three, four minutes. I took it out, I took the, the sauteed veggies off the pan and then I strained it, I put the pesto in and yeah, I mixed it all up together and look at that green it's so good like the i was gonna get alfredo sauce but the pesto sauce looks so fresh so i had to get it and it did not disappoint of course i love the farmer's market pesto i had to bust out the wooden bowl for this one i don't usually use the wooden bowl because you have to hand wash it and i'm lazy but look at that that's beautiful um oh my god like it, and it was so good too like i added a little bit of lemon juice and Oh my goodness, yeah, taste test, bussin', 10 out of 10. And now the laundry is done, and of course Gigi's trying to burrow in it because it's warm and it smells fresh, and I would do the same thing if I were a cat. But boy was that man clinging on for dear life to those clothes. He was so confused when the laundry basket was empty, like... I feel so bad for him, but also he has so many comfy blankets to sit on in my room, so like... 
I, I don't understand why he stayed in there for so long. Now we're moving on to a new shirt, and this one is actually for a friend. I'm 99% sure I'm gonna give it to them for Christmas, and it took a few hours total. It was much more of a consistent sitting, like I wasn't too fatigued by it, I didn't feel the need to take a lot of breaks because I actually really enjoyed this design because I sketched it out beforehand and really got into those details, figured out my concept, and yeah, I decided to do a kind of radial flower design, but I, I I made the flower kind of towards the bottom to the side I didn't center it and then I just made these kind of metallic vines around it I really like how it's turning out after I finished that movie shirkers which was really good by the way I watched Radia Ramhan's premiere and then I watched a couple of Lin Truong videos because I hadn't watched her in a while or any art youtubers for that matter to be quite frank I need to get back into it because that is motivating for real. Like working on my art stuff with someone else on the YouTubes really does help for some strange reason. It's like being on a FaceTime call, except I can turn it off whenever I want, which is like, I don't know. I would turn it off if it weren't interesting, but it is interesting and it keeps me going. So, you know, it's, it's magic. That is magic right there. Off topic, but also give me movie slash YouTube channel recs because I'm always looking for more films to watch. Um, you know, I have infinite film buff knowledge because I scroll mindlessly through random letterbox reviews and I have a bunch of film made reference. So, you know, basically I know everything. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I also could definitely do with some new, you know, art YouTube channels or any YouTube channels for that matter. I consume a lot of different other kinds of videos on YouTube, like random video essays, especially about musicians because I'm a music nerd. But um, yeah, this is the finished product of that shirt. I didn't go all the way to the bottom because these shirts are actually really long and I'm gonna crop it anyway for it to be like normal sized. But yeah, that's the front and the back. Yeah, let's go. I finally got a good clip of my leftover paneer tikka masala with the rice and the naan. It was so good. I eated that shit up. I've actually had too much free time this break, so I decided to make some more Christmas presents for people. And my friend Shawnee loves mermaids, so I'm drawing them a mermaid, a very like psychedelic, colorful mermaid. I wanted to try and emulate that same style that I did the full page in my sketchbook in, that really colorful, cohesive composition of a page, but it was on black paper as you can see, so my process had to change a bit. And this piece made me realize how many of my colored pencils were really broken and would, you know, break every time I tried to sharpen them, so that was annoying. Um, especially the yellows. I don't know why my yellows were all just broken, but it makes sense because I have packed them up and carried them around with me a lot. Anyway, I need to get some new Prismacolors soon. I don't think I've gotten new Prismacolors since, like, freshman or sophomore year of high school, so, like, four or five years ago. Boy. Now I'm just adding some more to my sketchbook and I just want to add as many things as I possibly can before filming my sketchbook tour video and I aim to film that tour before I go back to my parents' house for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, etc. So I needed to rush things just a bit and as you can see in this clip, I'm not even working in that sketchbook so I really wasn't prioritizing it but anyway, I did as much as I could and at the end of the day, I am really just ready to start a new sketchbook and fill that guy to the brim, which I didn't get to do with this one because of that small page count and the thickness of the pages. I just, it didn't really feel like me adding texture would do that much for this sketchbook, you know? So I'm waiting until I can get one with a lot of pages that I can kind of use as a maximalist, like, landscape in a way to just, like, fill with things and... Yeah, and now I'm just working in that other sketchbook. I wanted to do more ornamental tattoo design type of things and this specific drawing was originally some freestyle abstract pen lines that I drew with that pilot pen, but I looked at it for a second and I realized that it spells out the word rave if you kind of focus on it. I may be going insane, but it was kind of beautiful. Like, let me know if y'all can decipher that or not. Um because again, I might just be insane. Either way, the fact that I could read a word from that abstract design was pretty awesome and I kind of want to tattoo it on myself because that's a very specific personal connection that it has to me now and it looks cool and I love raves and I've been wanting to practice on myself this break with hand pokes so this might be a sign from the universe that I should put this on my body forever or maybe not. What do y'all think? I'll let you guys decide my fate. 
Anyway, we are getting close to the end of the sketchbook. I think this is the last spread and I just wanted to doodle some ink stuff, some pen stuff with that pilot pen because I feel like I don't use ink enough and I don't doodle from my Pinterest feed enough. So that's what I did. Then I went through this again and this was the last thing that I added to this sketchbook right here. This little symmetrical guy that I kind of messed up on right there in that corner, but this would also be cool as a tattoo. Now I'm just marking off where I want to crop this shirt and I filmed some little clips of what I got done during these past few days because this video is just over the span of like three days I believe give or take so we got a lot of like more texture in the sketchbook. Pretty much did all the goals that I wanted to do at the beginning of this video so I'm pretty proud of myself. Only thing is I wish I added a bit more to this sketchbook but what can you do? I'm ready to move on from it to be honest. I decided not to crop this shirt because I don't really know how it'll look on someone who's actually a medium size. I'm a small or even an extra small with these, so the medium just doesn't fit me like it would fit a medium person. So yeah, I just added more to the bottom of the shirt instead of cutting it, and my sharpie was dying by this point so it's a bit lighter, but whatever. And then here is what the shirt looks like on me. And remember, they're a bit big on me, so you know, use your imagination. But I think they turned out all right. And I just hand washed them and hung them up to dry because I didn't want the initial wash to deposit any Sharpie into my other laundry. I finished the day by watching a little Star Nerd video because I need to do some catching up on my favorite channels. Al is in my brain. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed more to come this year. I hope 2023 is a year of growth and learning and knowledge. Feed your brain and your body in a healthy way. I'll see y'all in the next one. I love you. Bye.